Police in Yorkshire arrested an autistic girl this week, apparently for the crime of saying that a police officer looked like her lesbian nana, which is a British word meaning grandmother. Having had a look at the police officer, I'm now worried that accurate descriptions are illegal in the UK. The police have said that there's more to this case than meets the eye, but they haven't said what that could be. And tonight, they released a statement saying that they were dropping charges. You can head to my Patreon for the full footage of the arrest, there's a link below. The police had just escorted the teenager home after she'd got drunk on a night out, but she was accused of a homophobic public order offence. This type of offence can't be committed within a private dwelling, but if she'd said it while they were out, why didn't they take her straight into custody instead of bringing her home first? It's ridiculous, and it definitely doesn't look as if there was any hateful intent. The girl's mother protested that she wasn't being homophobic. Her nana is a lesbian and she's absolutely fine with it, but the police still saw fit to cart her off for the hate crime of saying that a police officer reminded her of her relative. Here's a picture of the arrest. How many police officers does it take to arrest one girl? It's lucky they didn't have to change a light bulb as well. It's ridiculous, but this isn't a one-off. Britain is the world leader in ridiculous arrests. A man in Aberdeen was prosecuted for farting at the police. Stuart Cook was told to bend over during a strip search for cannabis and then, according to the prosecutor, deliberately farted in the direction of the officer three times, stating, How do you like that? I believe they charged him with breach of the ring piece. In this country, it makes you look like a pervert, but every single Scottish person does it. The police charged another autistic child in Yorkshire for accidentally scuffing a book. A kid in Wakefield brought a Koran into school as a forfeit. It apparently fell out of a bag in the corridor and was slightly scuffed. No damage, but it led to death threats from local members of the religion of peace. Instead of investigating the death threats, which are illegal, the police charged the child with a euphemistically titled non-crime hate incident. Basically, it's a charge that stays on your record permanently and isn't a crime but lets the police, the government and future employers know that you're guilty of wrong think. Harry Miller, a former police officer from Humberside, was investigated by police over a limerick he shared on Twitter. A cohesion officer, whatever that is, informed Harry that although he hadn't broken any laws, he should not engage in political debate on Twitter because some people don't like it. It was also recorded as a non-crime hate incident. And Scottish feminist Marion Miller was arrested after posting a picture of her suffragette ribbon, which a trans activist on Twitter complained was a violent hate crime because it could be perceived to be a noose. It's absolute nonsense. Have a look at it now. It looks like a suffragette ribbon. It looks nothing like a noose. But then again, I suppose that trans activists are used to identifying things as objects that they look nothing like. The women's rights activist Kelly J. Keaton, aka Posey Parker, posted a video about safeguarding children and was then questioned by police for being untoward about paedophiles. They're paedophiles! You're supposed to be untoward about them and the police are supposed to go after them! Why are the police doing all this? I guess it must be because they've solved all the crimes, they have nothing else to do, right? Wrong! Crime is soaring in the UK. There were more than 6.3 million crime offences recorded by the police last year. That's the most in two decades. Violent crime has tripled in a decade and sexual offences have quadrupled. While burglary and theft have come down, I bet that this is just because people don't even bother reporting them anymore because they know that the police won't do anything about it. Burglary clear up rates have halved to just 4%. When my car was broken into and my camera gear stolen, the police didn't even show up. I was standing by my car in the rain, keeping the crime scene pristine so that Sherlock Holmes could turn up and dust for prints and take fibre samples and swab for DNA. When I finally got through to the police, they just gave me a reference number so I could claim insurance. But I don't want money. I want vengeance. Who has insurance anyway? That's like gambling that you're going to be unlucky. And one thing I'm not is a gambler. Sadly, the police don't care about crime anymore. They've been captured by the same woke zealots who run our entire public sector, putting diversity and inclusion at the heart of decision making instead of common sense. Reality doesn't matter, ideology does. If only I'd known, I would have said that the scrot who broke into my car had misgendered me or left a transphobic limerick in the ash tree. Then a whole squadron of rainbow helmeted rosers would have tracked them down. Because of the police focus on thought crime, burglaries go uninvestigated. But if a teenage girl says something that hurts someone's feelings, they scramble all units. It's interesting that the girl is autistic. Autism can make people seem blunt and hyperfactual. Autistic people don't always have the capacity to deal with the levels of social 
awareness and politeness required not to offend someone and thus commit a hate crime. My own autism means that I can't help but see logic and reality instead of what we're being coerced to believe. I know other people's autism makes them think like this too. It makes us immune to government nudge campaigns and social pressure. Everyone else thinks something so you must think it too. If believing that 2 plus 2 equals 5 will make us seen as a good person by leftists, we still can't help but see 2 plus 2 is equaling 4. Fingers crossed that weaponized autism will save society from this progressive mania. And the police should do away with the concept of hate crime and just deal with actual crime. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please commit a non-crime hate incident by sharing it with a friend. But please do not compare that friend to a police officer with a Karen haircut. It is a hate crime. For exclusive content, sign up to my Patreon. From £3 a month, you get access to Clown World videos and a Patreon-only podcast. Yeah, the podcast is coming back. There's a link to my Patreon below. Okay, thanks for listening. I've been Leo Kears. Bye. Bye-bye.